guys, I am coming to you right here from my studio because there has been breaking news, and that is James Charles and Morphe have cut ties officially. We don't know how long those ties are going to be cut for, but they have both released statements saying that they are cutting ties. And James Charles, his statement, whoo, sister seems a little angry. He's talking about suing folks and everything else. This is what I'm going to say. You caused all this drama, James. You were the one that was messaging underage boys. So that is, this was all caused by you when it comes down to it, to be honest. You caused all this trouble for yourself. But here are, here is the official um, statement from James Charles. So, as you guys see, I don't know how you guys read into the statement. The very beginning of the statement, he seems, to be honest, he seems real angry. Um, which he doesn't have anybody to be angry at but himself because he's the one that caused all this trouble. Don't be messaging underage boys and you won't be in this kind of trouble. And then he sits there and says that people started rumors or, or that's what he's trying to to that's what I get from it that he's trying to say that people are just starting stories and rumors and you're the one that admitted that you were messaging underage boys so you admitted to this so that's on you honestly how I feel I don't think these people that have come forward I don't think they're lying I think they're telling the complete truth I think that you're upset now because you got busted and now the real James Charles is out there for the world to see so that's what I what I feel. But I don't, this is what I'm going to say. You're talking about suing people and stuff like that. Go ahead and get the law involved. Because you forget one thing, James Charles. You broke the law. You admitted to breaking the law in a video. So go ahead and get the law involved. Because that's going to be a field day right there. That's going to be a field day for you. Ooh. I think that that's something that you've tried to get around. Is any kind of legal punishment for what you've done but you go ahead and file a lawsuit or file lawsuits and I think it's probably not going to end very well for you legally um because I feel that you might do a little jail time to be honest with you because you are in fact the one that broke the law to begin with but let's not forget that quit trying to make people feel sorry for you nobody feels sorry for you except for your little fans because you were the one that broke the law. You're messaging underage boys. Let's break it down. It's boys. It's not men. It's not young men. It's boys. So let's get that straight. You want to try to make everybody out to be like against you. Like, oh, everybody's bullying me. That's what your statement kind of made. Kind of, I feel, put that out there. Let me tell you what, you should have kept your mouth shut to begin with and not have put that statement out there, that video out. And then, you know, but now that you put, put that video out, it's out there and you can't take it back now. So you admitted to breaking the law, to criminal things. So go ahead and, and take somebody to court because whenever they, uh, when their lawyers pull these guys into the courtroom, it is not going to end well for you. So you'd probably need to think about things that you are doing. And let me tell you what. Whoever told you to make that video and admit it, you need to fire them. You need to fire your legal rep representation because that was the stupidest, stupidest thing that you could have done. You just sat right there and admitted it. You just admitted what you did. You might, you should have just walked on down to the police station and turned yourself in at this point in time. Because, let's break it down, you broke the law. Period. There's no way around it. You broke the law. You had inappropriate conversations with underage guys. So, you broke the law. So, quit trying to spin this little narrative that everybody's against you and people are picking on you and blah, 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 blah. You're the one that's in the wrong. You, you're the one that started this whole mess. 
So that's all I got to say. Got to say about that, James Charles. There was something you could have done besides James Charles. I hope you're listening. Snapchat is not a dating service, and that's funny that you had all these guys wanting to come over. The, you want to know why? And we can all see through it because messages are deleted after 24 hours. So you're like, oh, any proof is gone after 24 hours. We're not dumb. You think that you're so smart. You're really not that smart. We can see through what you're doing or what you did. We're not dumb. I think that finally the little image that you wanted everybody to see of you is gone. It's destroyed now. You'll never, ever get that image back. Now we see you for what you truly are. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.